Look, there's a fireside chat with two seats. Okay. Okay, that's not exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> oh, there it goes. There we have a fireside Look, chat. A fire. There. Well, wait. There it goes. We're at a fireside chat. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Just warming my hands. Let's see what we got. <laughs> I guess we. Let's see. Here's a a cafe. I'm gonna start it. Oh, that's um. That is a blindingly bright cafe. I'm not sure I would ever want to eat there. I see they they sell coffee. Yeah, that's good. But mm. Mm. whoa. And there's some carrying. <laughs> <laughs> all right fun on the project in a ski lift okay i'm not sure i guess this is like okay now you have about 47 seconds before we dump you off at the top to tell me how it's been going over the past week <laughs> that's not at even least it's a, not a moving picture i oh that would be okay that'd be that'd be kind of good we could have the roller coaster overlay there we go all right now this is where the real creativity comes to bear. This is a kitchen, allegedly. Way too many yes. mugs. Mugs it's and got cups. A fancy way coffee too machine. Many. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They said kitchen, but this looks like this looks like more of a cafe than the cafe. All right. What else do we got here? This is dark. Let's try this. <laughs> it's a happy Halloween from Zoom. Oh. Um, that's a little. It sort it's of like looks. A like Harry Potter. Yeah, situation. yeah, that's what that's what I was trying to remember. The the there's like a <laughs> was it the there's like a newspaper that has all moving the all the pictures, portraits and newspaper pictures and everything. They all move in Harry Potter. All right. Well, you know, I guess we can have a little meeting like this and um that'd be kind of fun. It's now 10, so we can have our our stand up for the week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not sure I can take even myself seriously here. Um, but yes, the Open Research Institute uh, Field Programmable Gate Array a weekly stand-up meeting is about what we did over the past week, what we have planned over the next week, and if there is any roadblocks uh, or needed resources for the team. Uh, we have a lot going on with how to boot over uh, using an NFS or network file system. And we've been working through that and, and doing some some good work there. Uh, and I think a separate video on how to, like a walkthrough, um, might be a good idea. Uh, so because of the way that we do our work, it's uh, a remote lab. Um, a lot of the assumptions from, say, Xilinx, Vivado, and Petalinux, uh, and just in general, the, the whole tool chain, they, they assume that you're sitting there in front of the computer and that you can easily do things like make an SD card and put it in. Um, but we don't do it that way. Although we could, you know, handle a lot of SD cards for people remotely, we'd like to make it as easy as possible and reduce the friction so that they can use the lab remotely. Um, and there are lots of different ways to, to do this. Uh, so we've, we've found that, uh, that most of them work pretty well. Um, but since this is uh, somewhat unusual to have everybody, essentially everybody remote, um, we're, we're doing lots and lots of learning that hopefully we'll be able to just roll out from the very beginning in Remote Lab South. So anyway, that's that's what I'd like to get done is to document all of what we're doing a little bit better, make it easier for people to use. Um, so far, it turns out the, the one person that's most interested in the trivial FTP method is probably me. Um, and it, it it's just seems satisfying because I can copy all of the files needed from the Petalinux build to a particular directory on Chonk and then go to start the system on the dev board and interrupt it at a particular place, type in a command on the command line, and then everything works. Um, but I'm getting the sense that this might be still a little bit too, too much overhead or too many different steps for people. So anything that can make it even easier, I think we should probably do. Anyway, that's it for me. What about you, Paul? I have very little to report from the remote lab, uh, aside from messing around trying to get the NFS stuff to work. Uh, the of the two drives that we declared to be dead from Chunk, one of them seems to be fine, and the other one, I've uh, found a way to work around the problem with uh, an extra connector to replace the broken one. So we may have two spare drives that we can 
use when we need them for whatever purpose. Uh, other than that, nothing to report from the remote lab. Cool. That's really good news. It's nice to have them back because they were expensive. They were. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. All right. So what I'll do is um, let's close it down for the for the week and we'll work on a, a video to talk about all the things that we've been discussing in Slack. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's morning here. Yes, it You're is. in the remote lab. Plenty to talk about. Well, let's go ahead and start. Um, welcome, everyone, to Open Research Institute's FPGA stand-up meeting, where we talk about what we've done for the past week, what we're going to do the next week, and if we need any resources, and if we have any roadblocks or blockers. So, Paul, you have the floor. OK. Well, there's not a lot going on here. We get drives out for repair. We should come back, replacement probably. Uh, I'm setting up right now to trace ethernet packets to one of the dev boards so we can have a better chance of debugging the network boot strategy. And uh, that's all I know right now. Okay, no, that sounds fantastic. I'd like to help work on that uh, today. So I'll be, I'll be over soon recently learned a, an interesting distinction. Um, what we're doing is not exactly NFS boot. Um, that would mean uh, downloading an image over NFS and running the image. What we're actually doing is NFS mounting a root file system oh, okay. uh, and then booting from that. We were able to boot the, the uh, other board, no, the board with the radio on it is booting from SD card now successfully. Uh, we got HDMI cable <laughs> hooked up to uh, see it driving the monitor. So it's like a Linux system itself now for the moment. Uh, we can get it very much further than that though. The, having done that, we're able to make progress, but only as long as somebody's here to swap SD cards when necessary. Uh, if we can replace this with a, a NFS mounted file system, boot, then we'll be in better shape for remote operation. 